Some some high quality programming. It's exactly what the code for this fucking game looks like. <laughs> Let's play the dark quiet room with brightness up high and headphones in. Okay. Welcome to Disillusion's Manga Horror, friends! My name's Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator. I was given this game by uh, my friend CJ, who had been passing it around with a few people who were uh, too terrified to activate it on their account. Not because it's a terrifying game, I think, but just because, uh... It, what, it looks like a ball of trash. What is this fucking giant, <laughs> giant red question mark? I can't even click it. It doesn't take me anywhere. What are you doing, Disillusions Manga Horror? Or can I just call it Disillusions? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna check out fan art or anything like that. We will just, uh, play. Oh, Vigil told me to meet him at this supposedly haunted residence. Isn't that spooky? 16 events? I don't know what you're talking about. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa! My name is Dis, Dis? <laughs> And now I'll tell you the basic game instructions and controls. Arrow keys, move, mouse, look, Q, run, slash back, E, next, slash accept. Why the fuck would you put run on Q next to all the movement keys? Excuse me? Bro, don't do that. Options menu contains X and Y inversion, graphics, credits, and language selection. Follow the story by finding question marks in the game. I found one already on the title screen. Does that mean I'm a winner? Oh, this is really fantastic already. This death? If you are reading this, it means you came after me. I knew you would. Ignore the rumors about this place. Meet me inside, and I brought sushi. Side visual. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that sounds so fun. Can't turn the flashlight off. Oh my god. This is just disgusting. Look at this tree. How many polygons in that tree? Hmm. Not many. <laughs> It's like one per side, it looks like. Yeah. It's a triangle tree. My beloved triangle tree. Should I go over there? Oh no! There was a thing! A terribly animated thing! It would take weeks in this light to find anything in that trash pile. I bet it's full of all kinds of secrets though. Oh, we gotta turn like some spotlights indoors on or something? Blocked by sandbags! Not surprisingly, the owner was ex-military. I'll have to find another way in. Oh, we found it. <laughs> Rusty old car! On the news it said the murderer had a red car that was used to transport the remains of victims. Was that a noise coming from the back? Oh my god! I'm not sure whether I'm thankful or disappointed that it's locked. The noise has stopped for now. I should carry on looking for Vigil. Hopefully he's not in there. Virgil. I keep saying Vigil. Did the thing just crash into me? Am I supposed to be scared? Oh, look at that dummy in the window. How much is that dummy in the window? I don't have a sledgehammer. Can't get through here. Hello? I don't know where you are, Vigil. Virgil? Oh, we'll run for like just a half second. I thought the mannequin was gonna move. Did that hammer just in the window? I guess it did. Can I have it? Pull it out from the window. Oh, that fucking dummy did it. Bro. Spooky. Whoa! <laughs> More trash. It smells like ash mixed with rotten food and burnt clothes. I wonder if someone's been purposely burning things. Like a body. Creepy dummy. Is that the same dummy? Are you the same dummy? No. He's got the same crack on his head. We only got one character model. We couldn't bother to fucking... <laughs> couldn't bother to get all fancy by moving cracks around and all this. What, are you supposed to be impressed? Oh, sit here to mourn his deceased family or friends. Yep, seems likely. Gravestones in a garden? Strange! Mmm. What do I do? Can I go in here now? This is a tiny little house. This is a tiny little shed. I guess it's not a house, it's a shed. <laughs> An old rusty key. It's a long shot, but maybe it'll fit in the large door of the house. But perhaps I should check around other areas before entering the house. Oh? Oh my god! It's that creepy guy! He's back! He spilled some toxic waste. Oil waste. That trash bag looks suspiciously hand-shaped. Which one? They don't look like hands. They look like gigantic piles of... 
crap. <laughs> Which I guess, you know, fits. Hey, dummy. Candlelight. Might be Vig Virgil. I should be checking out cautiously. I don't know why I keep calling him Vigil. You know what? I'm just going to call him Vigil because it reminds me of, like, a wonderful candlelight vigil. And if I die in here, then we can have a wonderful candlelight vigil. <laughs> oh, don't need to press anything. Just walk forward. Whoa, bro. Chapter one completed. Uh, great. Uh, uh, great. <laughs> wonderful. Still no sign of Vigil. It is Vigil. Is it Vigil or Virgil? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Did he break into the hopefully abandoned house? I don't know. We'd better go check. Oh, I can't go back. Fine, have it your way. Vigil! He better not be playing a prank. He's known for him after all. I should find him before he finds me. Or something else finds you. Oh, 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 oh. The doors are locked. Hmm, I should find a way to open them if I need to, that is. I know this place is empty, but it's still not my house. Oh, Japanese people, you're so kind and thoughtful, uh, reverent, <laughs> is that a word? I think it is. Hello, locker? <laughs> Souvenir from murder school, perhaps. From the murderer's school? Oh, the you need a, you need an apostrophe there. It's the difference between knowing you are shit or you, your sh, your shit. Your shit or you are the shit. Yeah, something like that. Anyways, let's check inside. Darn. And I was... Oh, shit. I was expecting to find a key. Is that not a key? There it is. Let's hope it ho opens a door somewhere. Wait, hold on. How did the locker open? Is there someone in here with me? Oh! Nandekode! What's this? A sofa? Couldn't tell. <laughs> when I find him, we can have a quick rest before we leave. Oh, I see what this is. You and your multicolored hair and your androgynous dress. Vigil is your boyfriend, isn't he? Which, you know, if you want to do that, I guess that's cool. I appreciate you not telling me about it, though. See, I was able to infer it for myself. You don't have to tell me immediately upon meeting me. Because that's just kind of weird, in my opinion. Anyways, um, as this is not my house, I don't want to be here any longer. Dude, that's creepy. Why you got a stretcher in here? It's all burnt up and shit. What's in this box? Just lint, cobwebs, empty wrappers in these boxes. Nothing of use. A noise behind me. Oh! Oh! Yeah, thank you for uh, jerking my camera there. I couldn't just animate it, make it look awesome. Hmm. How to do? How to do? Can I go in here? Ah, sledge. Can I have sledge? Pardon me. Can I have this? You can't pick anything up. It's just movement controls and the shitty run key. Oh, thanks so much. Oh, what was that? We figured it out in the last chapter, asshole. Get it. Get it. It's right in the fucking... You. You did this. I know you did this. And I'm gonna get you back someday. I don't know how, I don't know when, but I'm gonna get you. You mark my fucking words, mannequin of death. I'm the mannequin of death. You shall be usurped. Oh. Hi, mannequin again. Can I go over here? No. Can I go over here? No. Oh, but this is open now. You want me to do this in a specific order, do you? I'm just gonna talk to you all, uh, as your one person. Cause you probably are. It's like a mannequin hive mind. They are the same character model. All of them. So I know you can fucking hear me. Hmm, <laughs> why so many lights? It almost seems that the person who lived here is scared of the darkness, or what could be lurking in the shadows? Oh my. What the fuck is that? Gas mask in a... Thing of apples? You wanna go bobbing for apples in the slime? Oh, there's the key. Dirty, stinky water, but with fresh apples in it. Someone recently put them here. Could be Vigil. Oh, and I see a key. Now to just slowly put my hand in there. <laughs> um. Slowly put my hand in there. Behold! As I slowly... Put... Put... 
put my hand in there. God damn it. Oh, oh. Why are you doing this? Oh. Delicious roast, roast beast. I can smell it. Ugh. Or maybe I need to take the trash out. Oh my god! He totally moved and forced my camera to change angles. Uh, Is it that creepy mannequin I saw from the garden? No shit. <laughs> I'm sure I saw it move through the window, but yeah, it must have been the candlelight. Yeah, let's go with that. Turn off the candle. Turn off the candle and watch me glow. Oh my god, please stop jerking my, my camera about, please. Please. Thank you. Can I get this shit? Hmm. I guess, uh, androgynous guy doesn't want to stick his hand in because he'll ruin his, his manicure, so. Well, we'll have to check another room. Look for a pole or something. Oh, that door. Thank you so much. This game really likes to jerk around the fucking camera for me. No, you go this way. Look at this scary thing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fine. Fuck. What the hell? I see a door. Wait. Is that mattress covered in blood? I should avoid touching it for obvious reasons. Why? What, what are the reasons? Can, can, excuse me. Excuse me. Can't jump. Can't do anything. Can't get on the mattress. Fine. Oh, that trash bag looks human shaped. The big one? You date some fat chicks, bro? Is that what this is? Uh, it looked like he had Hitler hair for a second. He had like a little mustache. Can we edit a mustache on there? Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> Good effort, good effort. Bro. I seen that shit, alright? I seen that. Computer, printer, empty cup. Seems like someone enjoyed their internet. Oh, it's just like my fucking... I don't have a printer, though. Never mind, it's nothing like my... <laughs> Smash screen suggests they had a lot of anger. Oh, and a key. Let's hope Vigil's hiding something in that last room. Hmm. This game gives me a lot of anger. Or not even anger, just kind of indifference. Did I pick the key up already? I assume I did, since I don't have a fucking button to pick things up. Hey, spooky room! It's so spooky! They're making meth in here, dude. Fertilizers? Acet acetate? Uh... What's all this equipment? Is this to make a bomb? Hopefully this murder guy's been locked up somewhere secure. A noise behind me! <laughs> That, that That's kind of halfway creepy. At least it's something fucking animated instead of just like a mannequin appearing. I'll take it. <laughs> a burning note? Maybe it's from Vigil. Dear authorities, friends and family, I'm sorry for what I've done. I can't live with myself anymore. All those deaths were my fault. See you in the next life. Tell Vigil's parents I'm sorry for killing their son. Sign, Dis, Des. What? Did I write this letter? It, is, is this my house? Oh my god. Ah! I remember now! <laughs> Alright. That is a lot of noise static there. I, I hope we're all enjoying that. Chapter 2 completed! What are you talking about? And it even gives you a score. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna go back and beat my time. <laughs> what the fuck? Chapter 3. Police officer Sui investigates an island closed due to a horrible crime. Oh, it's, it's another story. It's another story. Should I have done an outro? No, it's fine. We're just gonna shove this all in here. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Not really that challenging. Uh, it might be cheap, maybe. I mean, it was gifted to me, so I hope it's cheap. Otherwise, I feel really bad talking trash about it. Dude, Sui's like a hot lolly. What the fuck's going on? She's <laughs> she's a policewoman. She got that tattoo and fucking unbuttoned. Like, what the fuck? This is all out of out of regulation. The inspector's gonna have a field day. <sighs> My police cruiser's broken down. The only bridge off this little island. This is not spooky. This is not spooky. Damn, Sui. Pull yourself together. Remember your job. Find the trespasser. Apprehend them. As this whole island is still a crime scene under police investigation. Some nice subtle exposition there. 
Am I a hot lolly now? Notice I didn't look down at my body when I was an androgynous man. <laughs> okay, be careful. Don't go near the edge. We don't want the freezing ocean to engulf my petite body now, do we? See? They know. They draw her like a, a floozy just so I'll be like, Oh, cartoon girl. Nah, fuck that, bro. I like uh, three dimensions on my chick. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm not gonna talk to no lolly. What's this? Generator? Ah, damn, did I break it? Well, I guess the power's gonna be out for a while. Pity, may have helped that oak door open. What oak door? What are you talking about? Sue? Sue? Suey? No luck, the brown oak door's too heavy for me. Mm -mm. It's possible the intruder could have gone inside. I should try to find a way in. That's right. We'll crash this bike into it. It's just wood. This motorbike must belong to the suspicious character who broke into our restricted crime scene. Why has the engine been left running? Is it the guy before? I assume it is. We've been introduced to no other characters. What was that? A shadow? Perhaps a crab. Yeah, it's only a crab. Anyways, it's just a bunch of old moss-covered boats. Nothing of use for now. Until we need to escape. Wah, wah, wah. Can I go over here? Would it be dumb? I'm dead now. She doesn't like it. Oh. <laughs> it is instant death. There's just like a weird screaming and such. Oh, now I gotta do all this again. My petite body, tee hee hee. Shove it. Nobody's buying that shit around here. <laughs> this running. Like, it's not even a run. It's just like, take three steps forward kind of faster. Kind of faster. Yep, there was a crab over there. That sure is a thing that happened. Come on, run faster. You can do it. You're petite. You don't have that much shit to carry around. Just go. We'll sew this then. Just barriers and garbage. Typical. Blocking the way through. I have to find another way around. Well, good. I'm so glad. What the fuck? Stop turning my camera around. I'm not scared. Oh, God. See? Stop. Stop. It's out of annoyance, not fear. Making your game dark and still, like, ugly as shit. It's ugly as sin, isn't it? That it is. Oh my god! They have water sound effects! Should I go in there? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Will I die? I'm gonna die again, aren't I? Oh, now I'm all wet. If only I could grab onto that wooden fence there, I can cr climb back out. What the fuck? Go. I don't understand you, game. There's no jump button or anything. Anything you just use a a fence, a broken fence, as a ladder to climb back out. Everything's normal. Oh look, here's another door. It's permanently locked after those murders. It's just desolate remains now. No way anyone could enter here. Well, you're the fucking police, aren't you? Or are you just a little girl in a police costume? The area's flooded after the supports for the island got blown up by that murder. Should be safe to walk through that shallow area. Mmm. Uh. I don't know. Yeah, we'll look in the uh, truck, I suppose. Oh my god! A thing! <laughs> I love the voice acting. Ah! <laughs> More shadows, probably from my torch. Yes, probably, unless it. Was the intruder? I need to catch them before they find out the truth. The truth? the fuck? What's the truth? Did the police officers commit this crime? Is that what this is? I don't believe it. Blue lives matter, alright? I love our cops. Every time I got some shit that I need doing, call up that 911. I pay my taxes. I get them to do some shit. I guess I should keep going around the other side or something. While this isn't as uh, linear as the other level, it's uh, not really fun. <laughs> ah, here we are. 
Hooray! Ah, oh, isn't that the old cafe gift shop where those people died? I mean, those poor people who would do such a terrible thing. Oh, I get it now. It's you, isn't it, little whore? Sunbeam soda. Sunbeam soda. For those who like soda and also sun. Are you into photosynthesis? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I am. Who isn't? What growing girl isn't? Can I do something in here? Maybe not. I want to go over this thing. Just jump, you little bastard. Ha ha, is that the cafe where those old people died? Like, does the game think it's being subtle with that? Where'd you go, bitch? Fucking knock your block off. <laughs> Try to mean mug me, motherfucker. I did flinch a little on that one. I didn't expect it so soon after the last one. Oh, are these little toadies? Do we just need to go home? Oh shit! Who would build a boathouse out here, on the water? Doesn't that just seem insane? Is this like a different place? I'm so confused. Everything looks so samey and crappy. Oh, I need to go on the other side. You fucking game. And it's gonna be like, hey look, there's something about that ship that I just looked at right before. <sighs> yeah, thanks. I didn't see it when I was over there, but now I do. <laughs> the remains of the plane, see? Still float. It's said that the murderer attempted to destroy ways for people to get off the island, and that the plane was one of them. Oh my god. Who's the murderer that we clearly establish as the character I'm playing right now? Is she like some some kind of lolly demon who takes the form of police officers? She's like a underage sexy transformer. <laughs> Shouldn't even say that. This is terrible. You get a a harassment claim on your video like that. Mm-hmm. Oh no, another boat. Is it my boat? How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Got nowhere to run. Fuck it. Whatever. I don't give shit. Tell me something else I already know. Dragging noises are coming from over here. I should investigate. Over there. Please. Please and thank you. Naniga! Chotomate! <laughs> Spewing my uh, four Japanese phrases. Huh? Hmm, someone's moved the boats. Wait, is that a noise? Sounds like a door's been dragged open. Perhaps the large oak one. Oh my god, we'd better hurry because it doesn't seem like this event is like uh, scripted or anything. It's completely timed, isn't it? That door totally wouldn't just stay open if I decided to go jump in the water, would it? But I don't want to die because I'll have to do this over. Please stop. Yes. You're very scary, game. Now please quit fucking with my camera angle. I don't even know what I was looking at in the corner. <laughs> Whatever. It's the principal, goddammit. A grimy locker mark stained into this position. Guess the kid took this to remind him of all the pain and deaths he caused. Haha, <laughs> how wrong is he? Oh, is that a nameplate on the floor? Oh, so it is that fucking kid. That's why he knew it was a locker from the school he attended. Okay, game. I guess you did have some twists and turns. But it wasn't worth the uh, lackluster presentation, in my opinion. It's like a, a short story that could have been written in five minutes. Well, written in probably an hour. And read through in five minutes. And it could have given, given you, like, some real ch chills. I've read some Ray Bradbury novels, short stories, that fucking, like, freaked me out psychologically. But this, mmm, not a fan. Start. No, yes, no, yeah. Some, some high quality programming. It's exactly what the code for this fucking game looks like. <laughs> ah. This is my old teacher's board. I spent many classes writing with chalk on it. Now to never be used by anyone again. Ha ha ha. Did you kill the teacher? You sick fuck. 
Oh, what's that noise? The generator has been turned on. But by who? Oh my god. It's so creepy. Still can't turn my flashlight off. <laughs> the naughty corner. Oh, how I wish I could put every last person here. Those disobedient, annoying, worthless, pathetic people. They deserved everything that happened to them. Subtle. <laughs> Subtle. Oh my god. Ah! 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 Somebody turn the camera! <laughs> I think that makes it lack a lot of the impact. I hear someone near the doorway. Who's there? Show yourself! Who are you? Why are you following me? Just leave me alone. Can you not see I'm already filled with regret and sorrow? I only came here to say sorry and goodbye to those I let die. Oh, it's that kid I blame my murderous crimes on. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, what do you say? This is like fanfic at the level of a fucking like third grader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's given me a good laugh, to be fair, but like, holy shit, this is so bad. So bad. Uh, what are you saying? Oh, Naniga? Oh no. John, you are the demons! Oh, 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 oh. Are you, are you terrified now? Oh, I get to look around at the floating books. That's a pretty cool effect. Silly dis. You had nothing to do with killing those people. Or your best friend Vigil. It was me, Sue, all along. Oh my god. What a twist. God damn it. That was so terrible. Um, I'm hesitant to see what the multiplayer looks like. But be truthful, no one likes a liar. What are you even talking about? Version check failed. Well, I'll call that that then. God damn it. <laughs> There's no way to quit out of the multiplayer mode. I pressed escape and it quit the game. Oh, what a pile of trash. Utter, utter tripe. Uh, if you're looking for just like a little laugh or something like that, I suppose- Hey, that fucking thing worked now! For some reason. If you can read this, you may not be connected to internet. Thank you for playing. Oh, see? Now you know. Alright. Whatever. Anyways, I'm so done with this fucking mess. <laughs> Check it out on Steam if you want, friends. I won't discourage that. I do hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe on this episode if you did enjoy. And if you do, friends, I will send you a, a silver sharp- sharpie marker. Sharp Sharpie Marker. It's uh, called Fine Point if you're a plebeian. But I'm not. That's why I say plebeian like plebeian instead of plebeian. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so retarded. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye. Yes. One, two, Cut to the three, very center. Four. Goodbye, goodbye, see I'll buff you. I'll my sleep again. a little bit. Everybody giving me, giving me resources, thank you so much.